Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk doing another Java tutorial. Now we're going to introduce you guys to the integer variable. Okay, so uh, open up the previous tutorial that you just did. And uh, so you should know how to output strings to the uh, console and you should also know um, what variables are. Okay, so instead of a string variable, we now declare an integer variable. So delete everything that's there already. And so I type int, meaning that I'm about to declare an integer variable. And uh, I'm going to type die. Okay, so I'm going to generate a number from the die, from rolling a die. And uh, instead of generating straight away, I'm just going to assign a number. And uh, let's assign the number 3 to it and put a semicolon um, after it. So I have declared an integer variable called die and it's equal to 3. And now I'm going to write an if statement. Uh, what an if statement is, is basically if something happens, then we do something. Okay, so if whatever I type in here happens, then I execute the code in the braces. Otherwise, I don't do it. So let's say if die is equal to 3, and notice how I put two equal signs in there. Um, you'll see why soon. If die is equal to 3, then I'm going to output You rolled a three. Okay. So basically what happens is I'm saying that I've created a variable called die and in this variable it has the number three in it. And then I've written a condition, I've said that if the number inside the die variable is equal to 3, then I'm going to output to the screen, you rolled a 3. Okay, so if I run this now, it should say down the bottom here, you rolled a 3. So let's try that. You rolled a 3, so it says that. Okay, now why do I have two equal signs here? Let's just put one equal sign and see what happens. It says that there is an error. A type mismatch cannot convert from int to boolean. So basically, it's a syntax error. Okay, a syntax error means that you have typed something that the programmer, that the compiler doesn't understand. So the reason why this code is wrong is because when you have an equal sign, it means that we're going to assign the value 3 to this variable. But if we have two equal signs next to each other, it's a comparison operator, which means we're comparing what's in this variable with this value. And if it's the same, then it's going to be true. If it's not the same, then it's going to be false. Okay, so let's change it up a little bit. So if you die is bigger than 3, bigger than is also a comparison operator, then I'm going to say your number is bigger than 3. Okay, so let's try that. run okay and you can see here that nothing happens why is it that nothing happens in the output because the die is not bigger than 3 right now it's just equal to 3 so if I change it so that I say if die is bigger than 3 output your number is, bi is bigger than 3 now I'm going to use another statement called else, the else statement. So what this does is, if this condition is false, 
then I will execute whatever is inside these curly brackets. So if it is not bigger than three, then I'm going to say your number is three or smaller. So if I save this, run it, it says your number is three or smaller. Let's change this number to two. So it's going to say the same thing because it's not bigger than three. So it still says your number is three or smaller. Okay, now I'm going to change it to five. And let's run it. Okay. Your number is bigger than three because five is bigger than three. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.